In this question, we are given two boxes. In box A, we have eight white balls and two yellow balls, giving us a total of ten balls in box A. In box B, we have five white balls and X yellow balls, giving us a total of X plus five balls. So, I have summarized the information on the board. Now, what happens in this stochastic process is, first, they pick one ball at random from box A, and they transfer it to box B. Again, you pick one ball at random from box A, and you transfer it to box B. Then what you do, you pick one from box B. Okay? So, very simple process. Pick one from A, dump it into B, and then you pick one at random from B. Okay. I've summarized the process here on the board. Had you chosen a white from A, then box B will now contain, initially remember, B had five whites. Now, had you chosen a white from A, then box B will now have six white and X yellow, giving us a total of X plus six balls. Now, had a, what, had a yellow been chosen, okay, had a yellow been chosen from A, then now B will have five white and X plus one yellow, okay, giving us a total of X plus six. Now, if we understand this, we can set up the tree diagram without any problem, okay. So, let's look at the tree diagram. The first part of the tree diagram is what I tell my students, this is the pure probability part and this is the conditional probability part. So the first step is picking one from A. So what is the probability of picking a white from A? There are 8 out of a total of 10, 8 over 10. What is the probability of picking a yellow from A? There are 2 yellow, total of 10, so 2 out of 10. So we have the probabilities here and here. So these are pure probabilities and once you've done that, remember we had a scenario painted here for you. Now, had you chosen a white, then we are looking at this box B. Had you chosen a yellow, okay, had you chosen a yellow, then we'll be looking at this box. So what's the probability of drawing a white, okay? If this is the case, then it will be 6 white, total of x plus 6. That's what you see here. Okay, now yellow, drawing a yellow from the from box B will be x over x plus 6. Not difficult, yeah? As long as you understand this process, these probabilities are quite easy to write. Okay, had you chosen a white from A, then what's the probability of drawing a white from B? Okay, so that will be just 6 over x plus 6, just to repeat, so that we catch on. And had you drawn a white from A, then the probability of drawing a yellow from B will be x over x plus 6. Same logic for the second case. Had you chosen a yellow now from A, now we are looking at this box. The probability of picking a white from B now becomes 5 over x plus 6. And the probability of choosing a yellow from B becomes x plus 1 over x plus 6. So once you have this uh, written out on a separate piece of your, on a separate part of your solution page, then you can actually pick up the probabilities very easily. So now we have the whole tree diagram and we have covered part A. Let me look at the question paper. We have covered the first part and the second part without any problem. Let's read part 3 of the problem. If the ball chosen from box A is white, then the probability that the ball chosen from box B is also white is 1 over 3. You asked to get a value for x. In this case, they ask you to show that the value of x is 12. So, the probability, let's write it in the form of a probability statement. So, the probability, you are choosing a white from box B, given that you have chosen a white from box A, again, if you read the question, you are given a conditional probability. So the probability of choosing a white from B, given that you had chosen a white from A, they gave us the value, it is 1 over 3. Now, this 
probability here is just the probability that we have written out here. Okay, take note, these are conditionals. This is a probability of getting a white from B given that you have chosen a white from A. So we can write this now as 6 over x plus 6 equals to 1 over 3. So cross multiplying, we can write x plus 6 equals to 18 and x equals to 12. Easy, yeah? Not difficult at all. Just remember these are conditional probabilities, yeah? Okay, in the next part of the problem, given that the ball chosen from box B is yellow, you asked to find the conditional probability that the ball chosen from box A was yellow. So, now we are trying to find the probability of A given BY. Okay, so let's read the question again. Given that the ball chosen from box B is yellow, find the probability that the chosen uh, that the ball chosen from box A was yellow. So, this is how we translate the whole sentence into a probability statement. We are asked to find the probability of a yellow from A given we have a yellow from B. So, this one we know from our formula, this will be probability of the whole thing over the probability of, okay? So, this is the formula that we learn in our statistics class. Uh, let me write it here. Probability of x given y will be equals to probability of x and y whole thing over probability of y. That's the formula we learn in our statistics class. So now let's write out uh, what we have from our tree diagram. Uh, a, y and b, y. So that should be going this way. Okay, That should be going this way. So let me just write it here. This one here will be equals to 2 over 10 times x plus 1 over x plus 6. Now, the probability of a yellow from B, so it can be this way, 2 over 10 times x plus 1 over x plus 6. The other way you can get a y from B will be if you go this way. That will be 8 over 10 times x over x plus 6. Okay? Now, we have to clean up the algebra. So, if you clean up the algebra, this 10 times x plus 6 will go. So, I have 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1 plus 8x. Okay? Just clean up the algebra, yeah? This 10 times x plus 6 will go. So, we are left with this. Now, remember we have a value for x, which is 12. So, I have got uh, 12 plus 1 is 13 times 2 is 26. My denominator, I have got uh, this one here is uh, 26. And this one here is 8 times 12 is 96. So, I'll have 1, 2, 2. So, 26 over 1, 2, 2. When you clean up using your calculator, you'll get 13 over 61. And we are done.